Hey, this is Golf Mark 7 on the MQB platform, which had the battery disconnected. And over here right now we have a lot of warnings and errors, error indicators, as well as on the infotainment display. So if you disconnect the battery or if the battery is not in the best condition and the vehicle will have voltage drop, for example, during the engine start, or maybe it will happen on its own, you will, um, there's a chance that you will experience something like this and I will show you the simple fix for this. So first of all, we want to start the engine and those, those errors will stay over here. We have some cruise control start stop errors, even more over here on the display right now, once the engine is on and you can uh, see that if you have the parking camera, those lines will not will not move with the uh, with the steering wheel. This is blinking. We have eight notification over here. You can notice that the steering wheel is turning very easily. So what we are going to do right now is turn the wheel all the way to the left. Now all the way to the right, back to the center. And we can already see that those errors are going away. So let's check this is not blinking anymore. Dynamic lines are moving with the steering wheel, but we still have the ACC error. But I believe this will persist as long as the engine is on. So let's do this. Start it again. And right now, we just have the notification about door and hood open. Nothing more, no warnings about cruise control, about uh, stability systems, park systems, traf um, uh, tire pressure monitoring, uh, parking sensors, and so on. So the reason that you see all those errors is the steering uh, wheel angle sensor, which needs basic settings. You don't need diagnostic tools like VCDS or OBD11 to perform the basic settings procedure for this sensor. As you saw, all you need is to do this and this. And once the sensor knows the end position of the uh, of your steering rack, it knows exactly where's the center and it knows the current position. And this current position of the steering wheel, current position of the front wheels is required for all those systems all those systems to be working properly. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching and see you soon.